how to use a magic wand tool in Adobe Illustrator for recoloring and all kinds of awesome things. I have lots of awesome tips for you right in this video and I have a gift at the end of this video so stay tuned to get it. My name is Oksantia and I have been a user of Adobe Illustrator for 15 years now and I am a textile designer and the founder of Oxantia Textile Design Studio and online school. I'm going to show you one of my very favorite tools uh, of Adobe Illustrator that I use almost on every project that I work on, uh, whether it's illustration or textile design. And in this particular case, I'm going to show you how I recolor a, a repeat pattern that I designed in Adobe Illustrator, a vector seamless pattern uh, to switch to a totally different color palette. And I'm going to show you lots of tips and tricks in the process. So let's jump right in. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator and uh, here is the magic wand tool uh, and the shortcut for that here is Y, letter Y. And I'm going to be recoloring uh, as an example to show you how to use the magic wand tool in Adobe Illustrator CC. Uh, I'm going to be recoloring this uh, repeat pattern that I designed with leaves. So this kind of a lot of greens going on right here, some a little bit of blues, and I want to make it a fall color since it is a start of uh, the fall season in many countries of the world, like in my home country. And uh, right here we are going to be recoloring using the wand tool. Okay, so first of all, if you just click randomly, it will depend uh, on what the settings of the magic wand tool are. But if you just click, the magic wand tool will select uh, similar colors or only one color depending on the tolerance setting that I will show you. And the magic wand tool is very, very useful to uh, quickly select uh, the objects that have similar uh, colors or strokes or opacity. And uh, I use it a lot, especially for colors. So if I double click on the magic wand tool, I see that the fill color is selected and uh, I see that the tolerance is set to 32. What I want to do, I want to uh, select only the leaves of exactly the same color. So for that, I'm going to do zero. If you set zero the, and click on one of the objects of that color that you want to recolor, you will see that only the blue, bluish leaves are selected. Now only this color is selected and now only this more vibrant light green is selected. So to select similar colors, you will let's say set the tolerance to 50 and now you can see that m many more greens are selected. All of the greens in fact that have uh, some blue in them and this way only the other green is the two types of greens are selected. And how do you know that only um, one color is selected or multiple? If you have only one color, you will have only one color here in the color fill uh, square. But if you have multiple colors, you have this question mark, which means you have multiple colors selected. Okay, so let's go back to zero and let's uh, close the um, panel and we are going to what I'm going to do I'm going to ungroup by right clicking with my mouse and then I will click using the direct selection tool V uh, sorry the selection tool V I'm going to click on the background okay and I'm going to hide it you go to object and then hide and then selection okay so see, this is my pattern without the dark green background color. I'm going to use this as the color palette that I pre-selected for this video. And you can see there are oranges and yellows and a little bit of pink here. Okay, so let's drag out the swatches panel like so. Switch to the magic wand tool. 
and we are going to be start clicking on some of the leaves and selecting some colors okay so i just click and then you see that some of them are selected and then i select some of the colors here this is a work in progress since i don't necessarily uh, pre-planned the all the colors of which element will be exactly which color but i'm just experimenting and i know that i can change later so this looks pretty good to me you can see how fast it was and of course you can change let's say you decided to uh, that you don't want this darker color you can double click on the color and then you can change change it to a different color that you want to try so very uh, very different opportunities and possibilities for you here to experiment. Uh, what else I uh, wanted to mention about this is that the original pattern in green had more different colors and uh, I think it was about six and this palette had four. So I just selected some of the colors uh, two times. So let's say the blue and the green and bo I colored both of them orange so that you don't have to stick to exactly the same number of colors. All right, uh, interesting thing about this that I wanted to mention, another tip about the uh, magic wand uh, tool is that you can click on one color. It will select all the yellows. You can see it's selected here. And then you can press shift and then you can click on another color and then let's say if you want to recolor both of them you can see you have question mark here and then we click on red so that will give you a different look with more darker reds and oranges and let's undo I like kind of like this yellow look and now let's compare side to side our pattern and how they both look so this is how uh, different these patterns look so even though they are exactly the same element but you can see that on a white back background with oranges and yellows looks completely different so i hope this gives you ideas on how to use the magic wand tool in your own repeat pattern design and all kinds of different creative projects Please like this video if you liked this tutorial. I really appreciate it and it really helps to spread this video on YouTube as well as share with your creative friend that you think would enjoy uh, learning the magic wand tool in Adobe Illustrator as well as subscribe to my channel to be notified about new videos that I post as well as surprise live Q&As that I do. I am so so grateful for you watching this video and I hope you learned something useful and as promised I have a present for you I created a pattern biz workshop a series of four helpful videos that will teach you a lot about becoming a textile designer and working for yourself and creating an online lifestyle business selling vector repeat patterns just like the ones you see in this video uh, your own designs you can be selling pretty soon and i'm excited to share 15 years of a textile designer experience with you in this free workshop that i created and uh, you can sign up to the workshop in the info card in this video or in the description below under this video. You will also receive three worksheets just like this one with uh, different exercises so that you can get started working on your own creative business. You don't have to have experience with Adobe Illustrator or with textile design to get started with this workshop and you even as a beginner can um, go through it today and learn a lot of 15 years worth of experience right here in this workshop so go uh, sign up for this free workshop right now and i'm excited to hear what you think thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in my next one bye